Harry Dynamite, Dynamite Sports, we put you here in sports. Sneakerheads, Swag Famous Game Show. Uh, we have a special guest, Chris Kalk, number 41, USC Trojans Football. Chris, let's jump right into Sneakerheads, Swag Famous Game Show. Our first question is about uh, Air Jordans. We appreciate you participating, Chris. First question mm -hmm. coming up right now. Uh, name the iconic uh, Jumpman Air Jordan logo. When did that logo debut? The iconic Jumpman logo. When did that logo debut? Now, we have a couple of choices for you to choose from. And the answer is inside one of these uh, three choices. Is it the uh, Jordan 5, the Jordan 4, or the Air Jordan 3? When did the iconic Jumpman logo debut? Is it the Jordan 5, the Jordan 4, or the Jordan 3? I want to say it's the 3. Okay, absolutely. Absolutely. It debuted on the tongue of the uh, Jordan 3. Uh, yes, it did. Let's see. Yeah, it debuted on the tongue of the uh, Jordan. Very good. Good job. One for one, baby. Let's go. Off to a good start. <laughs> one for one. We have some questions, uh, Chris, in regards to you being a uh, UFC, USC Football Trojans, red shirt, walk on. When I think of you, Chris, I think of uh, intelligence and integrity. Uh, how important is trust and respect in in your domain on the road to being a sports agent? It's definitely important, right? Like I have only like my brother's my only client right now, just because I just started. But as I become an agent and as I become that, you know, be an excel in that world, it's important implicit that your tr clients trust you and it's important that you're able to foster relationships whether it be with buyers teams whether we're talking music like i said buyers we're talking like studios for motion picture doesn't matter i mean you got to be able to be a person who you can you know have the responsibility of looking after somebody's career and at the same time at the same like being able to deliver to the people who trust you to put their career in their hands on the road to being a sports agent talk about uh athletes desire to improve when you come across individuals on your road to being a sports agent how do you handle the athlete's desire to improve so i mean aside from the sports i definitely want to be in a bunch of different spaces music obviously what i'm in right now and I'm, you know i love music and that's the path i'm going to take to become an agent but I think it's just across the board. I, it, desire to improve is something that I think highly functioning people all kind of have implicitly. And it's, it comes from that, you know, desire to always want to be greater. And if you, if you're willing to, you know, help, whether it be the musician, whether it be the, uh, the athlete, the, you know, actor, whoever it is, like it, it, it's super important that you are there for them and helping them on each step of the way, because they expect that. And that's what, at the same time, you're not doing your job if you're not helping those, you know, your clients or whoever would be theoretically improve. All right. There we go. I like that. Wow. wow. Hey, we're coming up on uh, the next question is in regards to uh, the Wahlburgers, the Air Jordan collab with uh, Mark Wahlberg, the, the Wahlburger Fours. Uh, we're going to talk about those. Uh, they actually were released in uh, 2018, those Wahlburgers. P.J. Tucker, uh, P.J. Tucker with the Houston Rockets, uh, he rocked those Wahlburgers on uh, Christmas Day uh, in a game, and that helped solidify their uh, jump off, uh, those uh, Wahlburgers, Air, Air Four Jordan Wahlburgers collab. So the question in regards to those Wahlburgers, Wahlburger Jordan Four, or retro pairs, how many pairs uh, were made of those uh, Wahlburger retro fours? So uh, there was a big buzz about them. Was it uh, 23, 232, or, or 46? I feel like 23 how many is too pairs? on the nose. I feel like, like I said, I feel like 23 is too on the nose. I feel like 232 is an exclusive enough. So I'm going to go with 46. 
for some reason, I feel like 46 is like a number that I associate with Wahlburgers too. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Uh, the uh, Air Force Wahlburgers, actually, uh, Michael Jordan uh, had got 23 of them. And uh, Mark Wahlberg, he he got 23 of them. So they were really exclusive. Uh, and um, yeah, that's that's a great uh, <laughs> man. You on it. You uh, you doing a, a great job right there. So, uh, Chris, um, some of the characteristics on your road to being a sports agent, some of the five characteristics that really stand out are social intelligence, uh, passion for sports, good public image, negotiation skills, and business acumen. Can you talk about um, one of those five uh, uh, characteristics, social intelligence, passion for sports, good public image, negotiation skills, and business acumen? I think that a lot of those have to do with the story that I had to get to SC and to play at SC. Um, and I'll direct it back to that just because it's something I'm more familiar with in the past. I'm on a little bit, you know, going forward and each step is a new thing. But it, I think it's, I think a lot of parallels can be made to, you know, accomplishing something super big or super important. It's one, like just say, for instance, social, like positive social image, like, you don't want to be viewed as just some, you know, kind of a dick. You don't want to be looked at like somebody who's, who's just not, who's not, you don't want to have your, your, your reputation matters is the best way to put it. Your reputation the, definitely the matters. Way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, there's always, you're obviously going to, no one's, not, no one's ever like, not everybody's going to love you. Right. That's like that's something you got to come to terms with, especially in anything, right? Like if you're going to do, and you and I think talked about this the last time I was on, telling me my story to play at SC, like a lot of the people who I grew up with didn't like me going and trying to play at USC just because it was so, like, it was just so hard for them to fathom, like, and it was just easier for them to hate on it than support it. So it just comes a lot with that, you know, like not, no one, not everybody's going to love you. At the same time, you don't want to be doing a bunch of stupid stuff to make people, you know, look at you in a way that you don't need to be looked at. You don't need to be adding extra ingredients to the cake in order to do that. That makes sense. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's, there, there's a formula and uh, maintain that, that formula of integrity and intelligence. Uh, and that makes a whole lot of sense. By the way, Chris, what's your favorite uh, sneaker purchase that you've purchased? I think the favorite, my favorite ones were, the first sneak, those first ever Jordans that I bought, those ones I showed them last time I was on your show like a year ago, it was um, those retro high, uh, the highlight reels. Atlanta. Ones. Yeah, the mm -hmm. Atlanta Hawk ones. Yeah, I bought those out of the case at Foot Locker back when the Foot Locker had the, um, they had like, they used to have some shoe game there. Now they just kind of sell basketball shoes and sneakers and stuff like that. But like, they don't really sell the like good Jordans anymore. But what I will say is that the, back then, I, like they were in the case at the Foot Locker in San Diego. And, and like, I, I saw them in there. I was like, you guys have a 13? And then I bought them right out of the case. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'll do it. And, that, and that's your favorite of all time? Yeah, yeah, I'd so say far. so. All right. Those are my first ones. Those are my first ones for sure. Okay, we're moving right along. We're going to go to uh, Air Force One Collabs. Air Force One Collabs. You see that on the screen there? I did, yeah. All right. What we'd like for you to do is to name, name this Air Force One Collabs Collaborator. Name this Air Force One's Collab collaborator. Well, it looks like Batman's on there, and I saw Robin just now. <laughs> so <laughs> can't say that. No. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna say like DC. Yeah, yeah, DC Comics, Batman and Robin. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. yeah. Good job, good job. In 2019, there was a crazy uh, NBA and uh, wrestling collab. There was a crazy NBA and wrestling collab. Can you name that uh, either one of those collaborators? Oh, Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hint. That's a hint. Who did he collab with? I don't know. 
I can't see the logo or anything. <laughs> he collabed with uh, uh, Damian Leonard for the uh, Adidas 7. Uh, Ric Flair and uh, Damian Leonard, they collaborated. And the, and the shoe, it did pretty well. Uh, Ric Flair, he really uh, he really shined off of it and uh, uh, was introduced to a whole new audience. And uh, Damian Leonard, you know, he, he had the Hulu commercial and he's still moving strong. So we definitely appreciate you joining us here on Sneakerhead Swag Famous Game Show on your road to becoming a sports agent after uh, getting it out of the mud, USC football, red shirt, walk on, wide receiver. Um, what's the environment like? I mean, as you as you grind and get it out of the mud, what's the environment like around you as you move forward to becoming a sports agent? So I'm not just sports, right? Like I'm more I'm more music. But I like I'm at music right now, and it's what it is. It's a really really cool spot. I'm at a very very cool agency. I I love what I do. Um, it's it's a fantastic environment. Great people. Um, great leadership. It's I, everything I could dream of, and it's super competitive. I, I couldn't ask for anything more. That environment's absolutely outstanding. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, you got it out of the mud uh, with USC football, and you're definitely. Uh, going to get it out of the mud on your road to becoming a sports agent. We appreciate you joining us with uh, Sneakerhead Swag Famous Game Show. And uh, you, 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 you keep uh, moving forward, Chris, and we appreciate you. We'll do it.